everyone, I'm Kelly from Kelly Kid, and today we're going to make stuffed peppers. Uh, for our filling today, uh, you can kind of really adapt it however you want, but we're going to do a little bit of a, like a taco Tex-Mex inspired filling. So before we get started, we'll make sure we have all of our ingredients and supplies. So I have our peppers here. I've got three red bell peppers. And then for our filling, we'll use some cooked quinoa, some feta cheese, and some shredded cheddar cheese. I've got frozen corn, two tomatoes, a can of green chilies, a can of black beans, and some spices. So we've got garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, and cumin, and salt and pepper. And for our supplies, we'll need a cutting board and a knife, a bowl to mix everything in, and a spoon. I have a strainer that we'll use for the black beans, but you can skip that if you don't have it. We also need some measuring cups and measuring spoons, a can opener, and a baking tray. So now let's get started. So the first thing you always do before you start cooking is wash your hands and also rinse off your produce. So if you haven't rinsed off your tomatoes or peppers yet or wash your hands, take a minute and do that now. Otherwise, I'm ready to get started. So we're going to prepare our peppers first. And so you can stuff them a couple of different ways. One is you can cut off the top and take out the fillings and then stuff them and stand them up on your tray to cook. Or, and the way that I like to do it, is you cut it in half the long way and then stuff both open halves. So that's how I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I think you just get a little bit more even filling that way. So lay your pepper down, hold your knife properly, which is pinching the blade like this, and wrapping your fingers around the handle. We're going to use our bear claw to make sure we don't have our fingers in the way, and hold down our pepper and cut right in half. And you want to make sure it's as even as possible because that way you'll have even stuffed peppers. So you'll see when you cut the pepper open, you have the seeds and what this white part is called is the membrane. So we wanna get rid of all of that, including the top here. So I have this little garbage bowl that you can do it into or you can just do it right into the trash. So we're just pulling out the top like that. get rid of any of these seeds. And then we'll lay it on our tray. Okay, and we'll do the same for our next two peppers. So we have our pepper halves ready to go. What you could do is you could actually even cook these beforehand to get them a little bit more tender. But I like my peppers to be a little bit crunchy and we're also gonna just try to save ourselves as much time as possible. So we're gonna skip that step. If you wanted them to be a little bit more tender, you could put them in the oven for a little while um, before stuffing them. Or you could boil a pot of water and blanch them really quick, which means that you put them in there for a few minutes and then you take them out. Um, so that way they're a little bit pre-cooked before they go in the oven. So next, while we have our cutting board, we're gonna cut our tomatoes. So we're just gonna give them a good dice. I have two different kinds, which is using what I have. I've got a plum tomato and a tomato off the vine. And so we're just gonna cut them first into slices and then cut those slices into dices. So we just cut through and make sure that they're all the same width. And if you want to, uh, if you have canned tomatoes, you could do that. But I would also recommend dicing those, even if they say they come diced, because sometimes those are pretty large pieces. So I like our tomatoes to be, and all of our filling to be a little bit um, smaller here. Okay, 
Okay, now for the tomatoes, I don't like eating this core um, right at the top. So we're taking, gonna take both of our tops and cut around it. So we're doing one turn, one and turn, one and turn, and one and turn. And then this goes into our trash bowl. And we'll do the same with this tomato top. Now we have some slices, we have some almost dices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a few of them at a time. Um, if they're gonna be slippery and you're nervous, uh, you could just do one at a time. And, oops, I got a tomato stuck here. And we're just gonna slice them into strips and then turn this all together and slice that into a dice. So now we've got pieces like this. And we're gonna do that for all of them and then put them into our bowl. Okay, and once I've done my slices, you'll see with these strips that I've cut off of the tomato tops, I'm just treating them just like the strips, so just cutting them into the same size pieces. Okay, so now we will take all these and put them into our bowl. Okay, and now we are done with our cutting board, so we'll clean up a little bit and then come back for the next step. Okay, so next we're gonna add our two canned items. So we've got our chilies. It's a four ounce can, and we're gonna put the whole thing in. And we open it with a can opener by putting the blade in and pressing down, and you'll hear it pop. And that's the sound of the blade breaking through the metal can. And then you'll just twist this piece. And be really careful when touching the top of the can because it could cut you. And we're gonna dump the whole thing in. And the chilies will give it a little bit of spice, not too much. Um, but if you really don't like spice, um, if you really don't like spice, then you can um, do half or less. See what you like. Okay, and now we're going to do the black beans. And this one, we're not gonna do the whole can. So we'll start by opening it. And for this, we need a third of a cup. So we'll grab our measuring cup for that and a spoon. And we're gonna scoop them and we're gonna scoop them into the cup, okay? Once that we do that, we're going to rinse them. So you see we have all this juice with the beans. We're gonna pour that into our strainer and get rid of that in a minute. Okay, so we'll grab our strainer, pour them in here. And then you want to give it a quick rinse under cold water. And once you've rinsed your beans, pour them in. And now we're going to add our corn. So we're going to add frozen corn here. And we need a half a cup. So I have my half cup and just pour it in. frozen, which you don't need to cook ahead of time because it will cook in the oven, um, but you could also use canned corn or you could use fresh corn, but you need about a half a cup. Um, but again, it's all flexible, so if you want more, you want less, do whatever you like. And next we're going to add our quinoa. So it's already cooked, um, I have this leftover, and it's a great way to put it to good use. So we're going to do about a cup and a half 
Um, so just scoop it out and then pour it into our bowl. That was one cup. And now we'll do a half a cup. And pour that in. If you don't have or you don't want quinoa, you could also use rice, you could use orzo, tons of things, whatever you want. Like I said, really flexible. And next we're going to add our spices. So we need one teaspoon of garlic powder. So we've got one teaspoon and sprinkle it all over. And we're just going to wipe it off in between because we are going to use this for another space. So we're also going to use one teaspoon of cumin. So we'll do cumin next. Scoop and sprinkle. Next we'll do chili powder, which will be half a teaspoon. So we'll scoop that out. And this is where you're gonna get um, some of your heat from again. So if you don't like spice, you can cut that down or cut it out. Um, wipe this off again. And we've got half a teaspoon of onion powder as well. each of black pepper and salt. are like a taco seasoning. So if you don't have all of these and you do have a taco seasoning packet, you could just use a couple teaspoons of that to flavor your filling. And next we're going to add our cheeses. Um, but what, in the meantime, what we can also do is preheat our oven. So our oven should be at 350 degrees. So go ahead and preheat that now so that they can be ready to go in when we're ready. So we'll start with our feta. And we're going to do a quarter cup of feta. And then I have this pre-shredded um, cheddar and Monterey Jack mix, which will be perfect. We'll do about a half a cup of that. Uh, you can do anything that's similar, like a pepper jack, straight cheddar, um, whatever flavors you're feeling. So we need a half a cup. And we'll pour that in. So now we are ready to mix it all together and then stuff our peppers. So we take a spoon and just mix until it all looks like it's the same. Like it's going to be the same in every bite. We got tomatoes, beans, corn, spices, cheese, all of it throughout the quinoa. So we'll just take a spoonful and take one of the peppers in your hand and just spoon it in. I have this little like cavity here. So as much as you can, try to push it down to fill the whole thing. Right, and when it's full, we'll just move on to the next one and keep going.
Okay, and on our first time around, we used almost all of it, which is great. So we'll try to stuff in a little bit more into any of the peppers that aren't quite as full, and then we'll get them in, in the oven. Okay, so that's pretty much as stuffed as these peppers are going to get. They are full and a little bit fuller than even the top. So we are ready to get them in. So we'll put them in our oven nice and carefully. And we want them to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. So we're going to set a timer for 25 minutes and then we'll check them. Okay, so our 25 minute timer just went off. So we're gonna grab our oven mitts so we can be nice and careful. And take them out. And just turn off your oven. And these look great. You can see that the Pepper is cooked on the outside. We've got some browning on top as well. So there you go. We've just made some very easy and healthy stuffed red peppers. Enjoy.